Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to our second and final virtual summer concert. Doesn't time fly? It seems like only yesterday we were here for our first virtual concert. Well, not even yesterday, actually, because I'm filming these links on the same day I filmed last week's, that I'm, I'm even wearing the same clothes. I'd like to thank you for the amazing response to last week's concert, but I wouldn't know. It's only June the 17th for me. Anyway, as you can see, I'm back in the South Hall, the usual location for our amazing concerts. Again, the audience is empty, yet they're here in their masses, with all of you tuning in at home. Tonight, we have an extraordinary lineup for you, full of musical talent of plenty. And now, it's time for our first performer of the evening, Kira Chatraff, who is in year nine and will be studying GCSE music with us next year. Kira is an extremely talented pianist, vocalist, sportswoman, mathematician, and goodness knows what else. If only I had so many talents. Here she is on the piano with Mendelssohn's Venetian Gondola song. Thank you, Kira. Excellent piano playing there. Next up is George Ham. George is in year eight and loves to sing and play the piano. Remember I talked about the double threat last week? I think this next performance is rather marvellous and I'm sure you will too. Here he is with Shallow.
a lovely performance from George there. Next up is Emily Wilson, the other half of the famous Emily and Claudia double act. Emily is a flautist and studies GCSE music with us currently in year 10. Never one to shy away from her lunchtime in the music department, Emily has been a part of more ensembles than I can count, including steel pans, concert band, jazz band and ukulele club, although I've probably missed one or two out. There's something quite lovely about an unaccompanied flute. Well done, Emily. Next up is Year 8 student Siobhan Seabrook. I must confess, having never taught Siobhan, she had somewhat slipped under my radar. That was until her dad sent me in the following performance, not anymore. We are very much looking forward to Siobhan playing a big part in the music department for years to come. Here she is with Lost Without You. Pain inside me, 
the world and I say oh. Wow, what a great voice, only year eight as well. Up next we have Raja, who is a year 10 student currently studying GCSE music with us. Raja is a superb drummer and percussionist, and I'm so glad he's put his extra time to good use practicing his drums and contributing to our virtual performances. Here he is with Back Foot. with Raja rocking out and next up we have Sophie Cross. Sophie is in year 9 and will be studying GCSE music with us next year. She has performed in a variety of school events including last year's summer concert and some honours assemblies. We're looking forward to many more to come.
Thank you, Sophie. A great performance. Now we move further down the school to Year 7 student, Alex Young, who will be performing a medley of four different songs on the keyboard. Alex loves music and had one of his original songs premiered in our Christmas concert last year, his first ever music event at St Martin's. What an achievement.
now we have something very different. Our A-level musicians are making an appearance. And by the looks of things, they're trying to rival me for the title of most video editing skills developed during lockdown. Just last week, Year 12 students Sophie, Emily and Charlotte recorded this video for their cover of Cherry Wine. Socially distanced, of course. And I must say, I'm rather impressed. Superb job there, ladies. My only complaint is, why don't you look like you enjoy my lessons as much as it looked like you enjoyed making that video? Anyway, next up we have Year 10 GCSE music student Alfie Cranfield, who developed a passion for keyboard playing during his Year 9 lessons with me last year. Here he is with a cover of Changes, not the David Bowie song I hasten to add. Over to you, Alfie.
very enjoyable performance from Alfie there. And next up, we have Pedro Lorenko. Pedro is a year 10 GCSE music student and virtuoso guitarist who's been learning with our guitar teacher, Mr. Stockright. Pedro just missed out on the top step of the podium in last year's Young Solist of the Year competition with his own competition entitled Silence. And here he is again. Thank you, Pedro. Great technique there. And now we go down the school to Year 7 student C.M. Shipton, who will be singing If Only You Would Listen from the musical School of Rock. Those of you currently in Year 8 and 9 will remember our trip to London last year to see this very show, and what a great day it was. Fingers crossed we can go back to having days out at the theatre very soon. You always talk, talk, talk all the time You never let me get in a word I wish I had, I had a dime For every thought I've swallowed unheard No matter what it is that I do It's like I just can't seem to get through I've got so much to say If only you would listen I've tried every which way And still you never listen You think you know what I'm all about And yet you just keep shutting me out I've got so much to share If only you would listen You could prove that you care If only you would listen I'm not gonna beg you You'll never see a fear Promise one day I'll make you hear Yeah, you'll see one day I'm gonna make you hear me God, I'll find a way But you are gonna hear me Got so much to say And I'm gonna make you hear me
promise one day I'll shake you So damn hard that at last I'll wake you Yeah, I promise one day I'll make you here Wasn't that lovely from Sienna? Up next is Emily Sculfer, who is in Year 10 and studies GCSE music with us. Although she will play this performance of Sweet Creature to us on the guitar, Emily also plays the ukulele and is a key member of our ukulele group, having also contributed to several of our virtual performances. Next, we have Sophie Story. Sophie is a Year 10 GCSE music student and has starred in several school productions, most notably as Ariel in last year's The Little Mermaid and as Sister Mary Robert in this year's excellent production of Sister Act. She is a talented vocalist and here she is with My Everything. You are, you are 
Well done, Sophie. Now it's the turn of Nathan Bennett, a year nine student who will be studying GCSE music with us next year. Nathan will be wowing us with his keyboard skills and can be seen here performing something originally played on guitar, but I think it sounds just as good on keyboard. Stairway to heaven. Thank you very much, Nathan. Up next is Amy Wright, a Year 10 GCSE music student who first came to my attention when she sang in an honours assembly over a year ago. With a lovely voice and a great work ethic, she's sure to go far. Here she is, singing Wondering for us. have to lose every single time I have to choose swore that it felt right but was I wrong is this where I'm supposed to be at all but I don't have the answers not today it's like nothing makes the questions go away what I give to see if the grass was green on the other side of all
a great vocal performance there from Amy. I'm sad to inform you that we're coming to the end of our concert, but not before two final items, both very different, but both outstanding in their own way. Firstly, we have Year 7 student Zane Montgomery, whose dad informs me has written about 30 songs during lockdown. I think this is a fantastic performance, and I'm sure you'll agree, making use of keyboard multi-tracking to produce a layered overall piece, all performed by Zane alone. This is one of his 30 compositions, Pop Z. Wasn't that impressive? What a journey we've been on for the past couple of weeks. And now for our final item. Josie Tullet is in year 13 and has studied A-level music with us for the past two years. I can honestly say she's one of the most talented singer-songwriters I've ever met. And the way her sick form years have ended really broke my heart. The week before the schools closed in March, I received an email from our A-level performance examiner informing me they were cancelling their visit due to health fears. We were advised to film the recitals instead. Therefore, on Thursday the 18th of March, the day before our closure, Mr Williams and I rushed the Year 13s into a music classroom to record their performances. I'm not ashamed to admit that Josie's performance of Over the Rainbow moved me to tears in what was a very emotional and difficult week for students and teachers across the country. It transpired that those videos would never be used, as all GCSE and A-level grades will be determined by teachers this summer. But I will never forget Josie's performance of Over the Rainbow that afternoon. To close our final virtual summer concert, here is Josie Tullett singing one of her own compositions, Gloria. Bye. 
he's gone again Just lift yourself out of this hole It feels like you're losing hope The glorious life you're Standing by your front door Cause Gloria was saying I love you now A work of art and nothing else But not to you And there we have it. Two incredible evenings of music and hopefully the last time we ever have to do a virtual concert. Before I sign off, I'd like to thank Mr Osborne who will be leading us this summer to embark on pastures new at his new post in Dagenham. Thank you for all your hard work this year and best wishes for the future. We've all had a tough few months. We've been in uncharted territory and are still there. We don't know what's around the corner, what's coming next and when we can be back together again. As such, our ability to keep music alive at St Martin's recently is something very special when so much is not as we know it and it is the reason why I continue to leave this department and teach our musicians with such pride. They really are the reason why St Martin's is such a special place to be associated with. I hope the past couple of Wednesdays have managed to put a smile on your faces and remind you all why music is so important in our lives. We may not be together in person at the moment, but during our past two virtual concerts, I don't think we've ever been more together. I will leave you with a montage of images from the wonderful musical year we've had. It was cruelly cut short in the middle of March, but only temporarily. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back. Thank <laughs> you.